big church to do something. But this church could be a rescue for somebody that one that needs help today or Amen. later on. Going after that one means how am I going to do that? Well, I, I, I'd stop picking that hitchhiker up and look. And the reason people don't pick up hitchhikers is because of all the stuff you're hearing about. I pick them up because I don't care. I know who's one on both sides of me. You asked Rudy this. We're on our way from Hilliard, Ohio to, to Springfield, Ohio for a crusade. We're all crammed in this Volkswagen. I mean, it's packed. I say, hey, stop picking up that, that uh, hitchhiker. So we back up. He's got long hair. And he had a little duffel bag. And he's in the back seat and he gets in between me and Rudy. Wasn't it Rudy? Yeah. So we're driving along. And uh, I said to him, I said, where are you going? And he's out with us somewhere. He said, where are you all going? I said, we're going to church. I said, have you ever heard of Leroy Jenkins? No, boy. He said, no. I said, he's the man with a miracle arm. I said, he has a miracle ministry. He said, what's that? I said, it's where God performs miracles in the midst of the congregation. So we got to talking, and for some reason, a knife this long appeared right in front of my face <clears throat> with a fancy kind of a handle. Holy. And we were trying to get him to come to church on our way there. And he had this, he had this knife stuck down behind <laughs> his belt back here. And uh, I was telling him about how God speaks to people and how you, yes, you recognize and you hear things and so forth. And I could, I could feel this unbelief. I don't know if you ever witnessed somebody and they just yes. don't hear what you're saying. Well, that's what it was. And I said, I'll tell you how it works, bud. I said, God just showed me that you have a knife stuck down behind your back. It's this long. I described the handle and I said, you're planning on a robbing us. But I said, if you reach back and touch that, God's going to get you. <laughs> His face turned white as snow. He looked at me and he said, how did you know that? I said, I just told you. I said, God showed me your knife. It's back behind your back. I said, I dare you to reach back and touch it. Oh no, he said, no, no, no. He said, uh, uh, he said, can you let me out up here? <laughs> I said, don't you want to go to church? I said, no. Uh, he said, you can just let me out here. I said, you do have that knife, don't you? He said, yes. I said, pull over and let him out. Hmm. That one person could have been different if he would uh, yield to the Spirit of God. Amen. Somebody was reaching out to help him, but his his idea was he had a knife, he could rob whoever was in the car. He wouldn't have got much.